let's talk about the elasticity of demand. And let's assume that you know what price is, how much price is going to change. And you know what the elasticity of demand is, but you don't know what the percentage change in quantity is. And that's what this question is asking. If the price of women's clothing increased by 10% and the elasticity of demand is negative 1.2, what percentage less women's clothing would be bought? And I could have been just what percentage change women's clothing would be bought. We expect, because we're just changing price and we're looking at how much people respond in their purchases, that people are going to buy less. And that's what the evidence shows, that it is elastic. It's greater than one. And so in this case, let me get my pen here. But let's use a new color. So in this case, I'm going to put x because we really don't know what the change in quantity is. We know that this is 0.1, 10%. We know this is negative 1.2. And this whole thing is equal to the elasticity of demand. Which notice over here, we're just saying that this over here, price goes up by 10%. So we'll write here, thank you for writing. 10%, and we know that the elasticity of demand is equal to negative 1.2. And I'm not sure why I decided to put that extra, I'm going to get rid of that extra little piece right there. There it is. That looks better, doesn't it? And that D doesn't look very good, so let's get rid of that. There. We're ready to try again. So I'm going to put a better D for demand. Does that look good? So the elasticity of demand is negative 1.2. We know the price is going up by 10%. We don't know what's happening to quantity. So that's why we just put X. We want to figure it out. So in this case, if we're trying to solve this, pretty simple, I hope. That is, the elasticity of demand is equal to, multiply both sides by 0 0.1, 0 0.1 over here. Uh, not much room to put point 0.1 here. But those two, we can get rid of those two. So x is equal to negative 1.2 times point 0.1 is equal to negative point 0.12. In other words, this is going to be a 12%. And, and we'll put a negative sign. So price went up. Price goes up by 10%, and quantity is going to go down by 12%. Well, what we would expect to happen with this price increase? Well, probably there's less money to be bought, or less revenue by uh, women's clothing uh, retailers, because the reduction in sales is bigger than the, increase, the, than the percentage increase in price. And I'm going to rewrite this because I don't like how that looks. My percentage sign there. Percentage change. And let's just erase it. I like my I like my work to look look good. And here we go. We're going to make it look good. Oh, that looks so good. So, yeah, price went up by 10%, quantity went by 12%, 12% divided by 10%, just check our work here, 0 0.12, 12% divided by 10%, and that's a net 12% reduction in quantity, is equal to negative 1.2. We got it right. Good.